three on three basketball is starting to become a pretty popular global sport on a competitive level. I think growing up, if you played basketball uh, in the street, uh, in the playgrounds, at the park, you know, you're playing half court, so you get a lot of touches on the ball, you get to take people one on one. Um, really big skill developer, even though we didn't realize it. Now it's morphed into its own thing. Um, the Olympics are looking to make it a sport. Uh, Ice Cube's going to bring a lot of attention to it with his uh, big three league this summer, uh, where you get all the former NBA stars, Allen Iverson and Dr. J and Rick Barry and all these legends coming back to support the sport. I think it's a great thing for the kids to be doing. It's a, it's a great time for them to develop their skills. And uh, I think anybody who loves basketball thinks that way. So uh, we're excited to see who's the best I guess three on three team in New England at a lot of different levels or in the northeast of America. Uh, we're looking forward to having teams from obviously the New Bedford, Dartmouth, uh, Fall River, South Coast community uh, and as well as Boston, as well as Providence, as well as as far up as New Hampshire and New York. Uh, but it'd be great to see if we get some national teams and, and over time, maybe not this year, but over time get some international teams in here. So uh, three on three basketball, a lot of fun and I think we're going to make it a lot of fun. Uh, with the four-point shot um, uh, and with uh, the way we're going to do our overtime rules if we happen to see an overtime rule where uh, maybe a free throw contest decides it rather than who gets the ball first. So a lot of little nuanced things, a lot of fun, um, and uh, we should see a lot of offense and a lot of a really tough defense. As a community organizer and business leader, I don't think there's anything better than when uh, people work together and when leaders get together uh, to create a big pie um, that everybody can be a part of. When you're developing your brand, you have to think about how can I help somebody else and how can I be helped? And I think that's what uh, you see with A's Before J's, with Sidekick Sports Academy, with the BBA, uh, with the South Coast 3 on 3, uh, with all these other organizations getting together. I think it's a lot of like-minded people who uh, get very lucky to make a, a living in a lot of ways, just helping their communities and helping develop fun educational opportunities for their, their athletes, for their, their children. If you invest in the youth, you're investing in the future. And if you're investing and in educating the correct way and providing safe, fun options for them, then they're gonna have you know, a higher quality of life. And I don't think there's anything more important on this planet than, than trying to help provide that kind of an uh, atmosphere. Uh, whenever you start a new venture, you, you have to, I think, think big. Um, the Northeast 3x3 Basketball Federation kind of says it right there. It's a, it's a broad scope name. Northeast can mean anything from Maine all the way probably down to Baltimore, Maryland. Um, so when you think in that terms, and you think about Dartmouth, Massachusetts, the BBA, where I grew up playing, where a lot of people grew up playing from where I'm from, uh, being the, the centerpiece, the hub, the core of what could be something very large over time, that's pretty cool. Um, how big it gets? Again, it always depends on how many more places like ours, and I know there's places, um, find out about us that we've never even heard of. And, uh, and just getting the word out about this great event, this great atmosphere, and saying, hey, we can do this in your community. Um, but it's going to start here, and I think that's the exciting part. It gets to start um, for me and for everybody involved right now. At, you know, Dartmouth, Massachusetts, Burgo Basketball Association. This is home for a lot of us, and so to do something here and, and be able to do this this first year, and I think to be able to do it annually, is going to be really, really exciting.